Princess Anne once again proved her resolute work ethic as she attended an engagement in Glasgow, despite her flight to Scotland being delayed by over an hour. The Princess Royal who this weekend supported her brother, King Charles, 77, at the Festival of Remembrance in London's Royal Albert Hall on Saturday, was in the Scottish capital for the HIV Drug Therapy Glasgow Congress. Arriving at the Scottish event campus, Exhibition Way, Anne looked her typically polished self, despite her flight being diverted to Glasgow Prestwick Airport due to heavy fog at Glasgow Airport. The Princess Royal is said to have circled Lanark six times for more than 40 minutes as her flight from Cotswold Airport, near Kemble, in Gloucestershire, struggled to land at Glasgow Airport because of the weather. Her flight was thought to be eventually diverted to Glasgow Prestwick Airport, where she landed at five minutes past midday. She was reportedly due to land at 10.48 a.m. in Glasgow. Photographed arriving at the event on Tuesday, Anne looked a picture of perfection in a red coat blazer, teamed with a burgundy pleated skirt and patterned scarf. Adding a touch of glitz to her ensemble, the royal sported a pair of pearl earrings and a gold brooch. Anne completed her sophisticated look with a pair of leather gloves, matching black handbag and navy-heeled shoes. The conference in Glasgow looks to discuss current issues in the treatment of people living with HIV as well as looking to the future regarding new drugs on the horizon and new technologies to support those people in their day-to-day -day activities. It comes after Princess Anne's appearance at the Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance on Saturday night, where she supported the King. Queen Camilla had announced earlier that she would not be attending the event due to a chest infection. Sporting several medals and an elegant black suit, Charles appeared in good spirits as he was welcomed into the Royal Albert Hall. A palace spokesperson said earlier on Saturday, following doctors' guidance to ensure a full recovery from a seasonal chest infection and to protect others from any potential risk, Her Majesty will not attend this weekend's remembrance events. While this is a source of great disappointment to the Queen, she will mark the occasion privately at home and hopes to return to public duties early next week. The Princess of Wales, meanwhile, looked radiant as she arrived at the Festival of Remembrance, her highest profile appearance since undergoing cancer treatment. Ever on trend, Kate wore a mid-length black dress with a V-neck collar, accompanied by a stylish black clutch purse. The beaming royal wore her shoulder-length hair down, with a pair of large drop pearl and diamond earrings and a pearl necklace. In past years, Kate has worn a trio of Remembrance Day poppies, but on Saturday she displayed just a single poppy, with a silver military badge underneath. 